Uh -huh. yeah, I can see the place I come from. All right, friends, welcome to Pebble in Your Pocket. Here's what I'm going to ask everybody to do right now. I want, My take, um, I want you to take your beautiful poem and put it under your chair. That way, you can listen without rattling off the paper. We want to be able to hear every single poet that comes up. So we're going to each take a turn to come up and sit on the stool where I am. And the microphone's here. You can raise it or lower it so that it's right in front of your face so that we can hear you. Remember, you're wearing a mask, so you've got to speak up a little bit, and then the microphone will help you too. You share your poem. We're all going to listen. And as soon as you finish your poem, we are going to celebrate your poem by snapping like this, or if you can't snap, you can take two fingers and do a quiet clap like this. That's a good way to celebrate poetry. Now we are recording this so that your families can see it later. Where? That little camera that's right there is going to be rec is recording already. It's recording me right now. Now lots of people have been noticing our wonderful decorations. And I decided that poetry can be celebrated all year long. So you're going to notice morning? you're going to notice that there are snowflakes for winter. There's flowers for spring. There's a beach towel for summer, and there's a pumpkin for fall because we can read poetry any time of year. It doesn't just have to be during a poem in your pocket. All right, so get yourself settled into your seat, ready to listen, and I'm going to share our first poem. This is a poem by Bobby Katz, and it came out of this book right over here, and it's called A Pocket Poem. With a poem in your pocket and a pocket in your pants, you can rock with new <laughs> rhythms, you can skip, you can dance, and wherever you go and whatever you do, that poem in your pocket is going there too. You could misplace your homework, you could lose your left shoe, but that poem in your pocket will be part of you, and nothing can take it and nothing can break it. That poem in your pocket becomes part of you. Now, when it's your turn to come up, be careful because there is a cord with the microphone, so make sure your feet aren't getting tangled in the cord. And remember, you can move the microphone up or down to the place that you need it to be. Ms. Selvin, do we have a certain order or can we just start in the front? Anybody. Else? All right. You want to start us off? Yes. All right. Get your poem and come on up. All right, pull your microphone down. There you go. Good. <laughs> All right, everybody take a breath. All right. Okay, try again. Mm 
My name is Julie, and I'm going to be reading a poem about pink. Pink is my favorite color. I like to wear it every single day. Go ahead. None of you can see it. My name is Martina, and I'm going to read you a poem about my cat. They are fuzzy. They're a good pet, and, and my cat likes, and some cats like to cut, climb on trees. No, and I'm going to read a poem about spring. This, no, but the microphone's not blowing. Mm -hmm. My name is Noah, and I'm going to read a poem about spring. Spring, petal, rain, I like flowers, nest, green grass. Take a minute and look and look again. If you were doing good, you know, start all over again. Shower. Chief, it's okay. On scale. On scale. Thank 
Dreams and I can help me do a poem about dreams. Rain, petals, rain, I like travel, nest and dream dress. My name is Rosie and I'm going to read a poem about the cat, cat, ass, and tree. My name is Owen and I'm going to read a poem about spring. Spring, petals, Rain, I like flowers, nest, green grass. My name is Ms. Grant, and I'm going to read you a poem about my name. G, green grass. R, red river. A, Ants marching in nine pianos, tea, tiny tables all for me. Poetry <laughs> fills the mind of the soul, the person who listens to it, on a t shirt that you may wear. So let's Put our hands up for poetry everywhere. <laughs> poetry everywhere.